The first Buick Century was built in 1936. It was the first year Buick began using names rather than numbers to identify its models. In 1973, the Century became a midsize model. Although there have been numerous changes in the Century since the first front-wheel drive model was introduced for the 1982 model year, the 1997 Century represents the first all-new version in over a decade. In just one model year, Buick engineers have achieved numerous changes in styling, safety and security, comfort, and performance. Hi, I'm Chuck McLennan. The 1997 Century features a world-class body structure which is classic and contemporary without being trendy. Starting with the classic Buick grille, the Century's purposeful stance and flowing sculptural lines reinforce the car's brand character and ensure that it will be attractive at first sight and beautiful for years to come. New designs and construction methods make for a safer, quieter ride. The 1997 Century is larger than its predecessor in almost every dimension to improve access, all-around roominess, and comfort. The new Century is longer, wider, and has a two-and-a-half-foot smaller turning circle than the previous model. Flush-mounted solar glass is used in the windshield and rear window. The redesigned windshield provides better visibility, improved exterior aesthetics, and more efficient airflow across the surface of the car. A smaller A-pillar and a low roof line increase driver visibility while meeting Buick's styling goals and government safety requirements. Buick engineers have implemented a system called Winkover to improve glass sealing, which reduces wind noise and water leaks. When the glass goes full up, there's a bulb in the top of the run channel that gets crushed and acts as an outer lip sealing itself to the glass. There are several unique features found on and in the Century doors. The trim panels are held in place with a new type of Christmas tree fastener. After removing the three retaining screws, use a trim tool and gently pull the panel straight back from the door. Another new technology on the Century is the cable drive window regulator. This type of regulator is different from conventional regulators because it uses a cable wrapped around a drum to move the glass instead of a metal arm and gear. This mechanism slides the door glass up and down and provides the force necessary to engage the glass seals at the top. The regulator also provides stability to the glass. This results in better sealing against wind noise and window rattle. The Century utilizes unibody construction which creates a steel safety cage for the passenger compartment. The entire side of the body from the front door hinge pillar to the rear quarter panel is one stamping to save weight and complexity while assuring highly accurate door fits and sealing surfaces. Dual galvanized and pre-coated metals assure long-lasting corrosion resistance guaranteed by a six-year, 100,000-mile no perforation warranty. Steel side impact braces in B-pillars and energy absorbing foam on rear quarter panels help create a more rigid and safe protective shield for occupants. Door pillars are roll formed to create a stronger, safer component. This innovative design technology creates highly accurate door fits and sealing surfaces. The interior volume of the 1997 Century is increased by 5.9 cubic feet and the trunk space is increased by more than one cubic foot. Six large adults can ride in comfort because of special design features. Seats are designed to be comfortable, supportive, safe, and stylish. 
The front seats were designed to perform better in rear-end collisions. This was accomplished in several ways. The seat structure is designed to absorb more energy. Headrests are designed and packaged to an improved height and location. Front seats slide through more than 10 inches of total travel. A 6 foot 5 inch driver can position the seat and be comfortable for virtually any driving position. Elevated theater style rear seating provides a better view of the road and an open airy feeling which enhances long trip comfort. Another point of convenience is the redesigned Century instrument panel. It's designed with a flowing motif that wraps into the doors. It's simple and intuitive, without excess reaching or guessing. Large and very legible readouts for both the cluster and the radio were chosen because of customer preference. The 1997 Century is equipped with an air filtration system. Let's check it out. This system rids incoming air of pollen and dust particles before it reaches the passenger compartment. Even contaminants such as asbestos, insecticide dust, and plant spores are blocked from reaching the car's interior. The filter is located under the hood near the windshield and is easy to replace. If the filter isn't replaced, customers may complain about no heat or airflow. But certainly, customers won't complain about the Century's quiet ride. To reduce the level of engine noise coming into the interior, a windshield seal and body sealer at the base of the A-pillar have been added. In addition, a one-piece molded fiberglass dash mat has been attached to the engine side of the instrument panel. This also provides heat insulation. The outside mirrors are aerodynamically designed to reduce wind noise. Improved door fit, triple door seals, and precision side glass construction all help reduce wind noise. The radio antenna is embedded in the rear window glass. To reduce rear end noise, sound deadening is used inside the rear quarter panel and rear wheelhouse. Even the trunk shows Buick designers integrity. To make possible a low liftover trunk lid and still make the trunk lid lift out of the way, special four-way hinges were used. A specially designed trunk floor mat was developed to ensure a quieter interior. Squeak and rattle elimination is one of the key focus areas for the 97th century. Another key area is the development of integrated exterior lighting. Let's take a look. State-of-the-art lighting systems add a quality appearance while improving safety. All lighting functions such as turn signals, side marker lights, and backup lights are integrated into the one-piece headlamp and tail lamp assemblies. These units facilitate assembly removal and replacement and improve quality. Like all GM cars, beginning in 1997, the Century will be equipped with daytime running lamps for enhanced visibility and safety. The daytime running lights module is located on the bracket just to the left of the steering column. The DRL control module operates in two modes. In the day mode, the two front turn lamps are lit. In the night mode, the low beam headlamps front marker, park, and tail lamps are lit. The DRL ambient light sensor is located on top of the instrument panel at the base of the windshield. When the ambient light sensor senses darkness, it activates the DRL control module's night mode. The DRL control module activates the underhood electrical center, turning on the exterior lights. It also signals the body control module that it has entered night mode. Here are some other features of the daytime running light system. In the night mode, if the engine should stall, the DRL control module will turn off the headlights and leave the marker, park, and tail lamps lit while the engine is being cranked. If the park brake is applied before the ignition switch is turned to the run position, 
the DRL control module will not operate any exterior lamps. When the park brake is released with the ignition switch in the run position, the DRL control module will activate the exterior lights. If the park brake is applied after the ignition switch is turned to the run position, the headlamps will not turn off. The vehicle is equipped with automatic programmable power door locks. There are actually four modes from which to select. These can be customized according to the needs of the driver. Here's the procedure for customizing into a specific mode. Place the vehicle in the park position. Close all of the doors and turn the ignition switch to the run position. Press and hold either door lock in the lock position. Each time the gear selector is cycled from the park position to a non-park position, then back into the park position, the mode number will advance. Mode 1. There is no automatic door lock or unlock feature. Mode 2. When the transmission is shifted out of park, the doors automatically lock. When the transmission is returned to park, the doors remain locked. Mode 3. When the transmission is shifted out of park, the doors automatically lock. Then, when the transmission is shifted back into park, all the doors unlock. Mode 4. When the transmission is shifted out of park, the doors automatically lock. Then, when the transmission is shifted back into park, only the driver's door unlocks. When you have the desired mode, release the lock switch to exit and save the current customization. Let's take a look at the Century's powertrain system. A new integrated mounting design of the powertrain improves the assembly process by eliminating brackets. Many components are bolted directly to the engine. The engine mounts are hydraulic, which better integrates with the suspension. A newly designed transmission mount increases fore-aft mount rate. The Century is equipped with the proven 3.1 liter 60 degree V6 engine because of its widely acclaimed reliability and responsiveness. Rated at 165 horsepower at 5,200 RPM and 185 pounds-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM, this engine is maintenance-free except for fluid and filter replacement during the first 100,000 miles. Advanced design features of this engine include aluminum cylinder heads, sequential fuel injection, distributorless ignition, cross-bolted main bearings, structural aluminum oil pan, roller hydraulic lifters, roller rocker arms, long-life platinum-tipped spark plugs, extended-life coolant, grind protection to disable the starter when the engine is already running. The underhood bust electrical connector provides a central packaging location for fuses, relays, splices, and harness interconnects. This reduces the number of leads and splices while decreasing the average wire gauge size. The unit also contains a jump start stud. The Century is equipped with a 10 inch large capacity battery with 600 cold cranking amps. The battery rundown protection system prevents unnecessary discharge due to loads from various lamps and systems which could inadvertently be left on. The system deactivates the loads after 20 minutes of operation if the car's mileage is greater than 15 miles. It also deactivates the loads after 3 minutes if the mileage is less than 15 miles. Conforming to OBD2 regulations has required some changes to the vehicle's onboard computer, as well as the use of some new modified powertrain and emission components. A problem with many current vehicles is keeping the PCM, the microprocessor that controls many powertrain functions, adequately cool in the hot and hostile engine compartment. GM engineers found an answer to this challenge by placing the PCM inside the induction air cleaner, thus using the pumping action of the induction air to passively cool the PCM. The world-class electronically controlled Hydromatic 4T60E four-speed automatic transaxle is standard on the Century. It contains the following electronic controls and features. 
senses and adapts to changes in altitude, barometric pressure, and engine load. Electronically interacts with the engine controls to create an integrated powertrain. Self-diagnostic capabilities. One-way clutches for all forward gear shifts. Dual circuit lube system. Higher torque application potential. Those are just a few of the new powertrain features. Let's take a look under the car. A real effort has been made with the Century to eliminate the trade-off between a stiff ride and confident handling. This was made possible in part because of a new lower control arm design. The forward arms have been realigned, and instead of being directly centered against the wheel, the forward portion of the arm has been moved further forward. Large rubber insulator bushings are located at each control arm. The forward control arm attachment uses a special rubber insulator bushing that is extremely soft for cushioning bumps and disturbances in the road. The rearward lower control arm bushing is very stiff to maximize the lateral stiffness of the wheel and provide good handling feel. The rear arm is aligned with the wheel center, so compliance can be made stiffer for better handling. The variable rate springs were designed to provide increased jounce travel at loaded vehicle conditions. This will improve strike-through feel when riding over large ride swells. The springs are made of micro-alloy steel, which contributes to their low weight. You must take extra care when working with these springs. When the coating is scratched or damaged, corrosion starts working on the alloy steel, and the spring may break. The stabilizer bar system is direct acting. The stabilizer bar is attached to the suspension strut by means of a dual ball joint link. This provides a low friction, high efficiency method of attachment. The ball joint links are located as far outboard as possible to increase efficiency in reducing body roll. The direct acting stabilizer is a system which provides high stiffness, low friction, multi-rotational motion. The direct acting portion of the system is more efficient, which reduces the need for larger diameter stabilizer bars, thus reducing mass and cost. The number of parts in the stabilizer bar system has been reduced by a total of 14. The rigid floor pan minimizes shaking in the seat and overall vehicle. The full length structural tunnel, which is the backbone of the structure, provides a load path that runs from the front to the rear passenger compartment. It also helps package the exhaust system. The rear suspension is attached to the body by a suspension support. The support link is a one-piece stamping with an integrated conduit reaction parking system. Rubber bushings provide additional insurance that road noise won't reach the passenger compartment. The suspension support provides a structure for the attachment of the lateral links and the stabilizer bar system. A slip joint in the floor pan just in front of the rear wheel allows for changes in the wheel base of four inches on this platform. Let's move up to the front of the car and talk about Century's brake system. The Century is equipped with GM's ABS-6 system. The front rotors are larger and heavier than previous models. The calipers are larger and stiffer, reducing the possibilities of brake pulsation. The asbestos-free pad and lining materials contribute to long lining life and extra fade resistance. On the rear wheels, the Century uses traditional drum brakes. The Buick engineers and their function design teams have met the challenge and created a Buick Century that will cross the bridge into the next century.